Now, more than ever, teams must come together and work together to solve big challenges, and Trello is here to help. Trello, part of Atlassian's collaborative suite, is an app with an easy-to-understand visual format, plus tons of features that make working with your team functional and fun. With Trello, you can work with your team wherever you are, whether it's at home or in an office. Keep your workflow going from wherever you are with Trello. Try Trello for free and learn more at Trello.com. That's T-R-E-L-L-O dot com. Working remotely can be a challenge, especially for teams that are new to it. How do you deal with your work environment being the same as home while staying productive? At a time when teams must come together more than ever to solve big challenges, Trello's here to help. Trello, part of Atlassian's collaborative suite, has been powering remote teams globally for almost a decade. Trello keeps everyone on the same page, helping teams communicate, focus, and connect. Try Trello for free and learn more at Trello.com. That's T-R-E-L-L-O dot com. Dan and Rand and Jay will share tales of folks so unaware they lack in grace and sometimes choose the life they choose will make the news. Breaking down each epic fail in Florida, there's half price bail. I'm happy to say they couldn't make this up. Dumb, dumb, so dumb, listen dumb, to dumb, our podcast dumb, jam dumb, with co host Arm and Dan. Dumb, dumb, and Bert, dumb, don't be a jerk. Dumb, dumb, Cause when the music gets the funny dumb, hits dumb, and we are gonna dumb, take dumb, you down. Stick around. Hey Townies, welcome to a Friday episode of Dumb People Town. Population you. Population Chando. Natasha. Natasha Chando. Welcome to the show. Welcome. Hi. It's so good to have you here. Uh, we want to do a TV show with you and Evan Handler and call it, uh, we're your Evan Handler's Handler, Handler and we oh call it Chandel, Chandel with Care. Okay. I love that. Are you going to do that? Is this the, the official pitch? Can we yeah, sell it, it might on? be the pitch, but okay. we got to go out with you. We got to, you we're know, gonna team We're going to slide up. it and get some of that Mr. Iglesias glow. Yeah, I'm, gr- I'm great at handling uh, people. Great. So you've been writing on that show and how has that been? It's been amazing. So um, fun. Uh, if you don't know, Mr. Iglesias oh, uh, is a, a sitcom on Netflix, on Netflix. with Netflix. Uh, Gabe, mm-hmm. Gabriel Iglesias or Fluffy. Yeah. Fluffy. It's so weird because when I say Gabriel Iglesias, people are like, who? When I say Gabriel like Iglesias, Fluffy. people are like, who? And I go, Fluffy. Fluffy. They're like, oh! Wait, no, no. <laughs> Even, like, right. just the fact that you called him Gabe, you were trying to be like, I know him better than you. I know him better than you, <laughs> so better than you guys. No, it's no, like no, a no. Bobby De Niro. <laughs> yeah. Because it's, it's almost weird to call him Fluffy in person. You're yeah, like, you can't Fluffy. Fluffy. Fluffy, hey, like, Fluff, can you go grab yeah. me? <laughs> so here's my earliest memory of Gabriel Iglesias, which is kind of fascinating and cool. I remember when our friend Marta Raven, who's a very funny comic, did Premium Blend. Now, this is probably in like 2000. Mm-hmm. The warm-up comedian for Comedy Central's Premium Blend was Gabriel Iglesias. And <sighs> he did so well warming up the crowd that the Randy other- and I were watching it. We're like, this guy's going to be a star. This oh, guy yeah, is just Crush City, and he's funny. He's well, clean. This so, is how I felt about myself. Well, you yeah, thought you're going to be. I'm a That's star. Too much no, but what? But That's I, how I felt about Natasha. This, this is girl's going to be a star. star. Uh, but what I was thinking about when we were watching him is, we're like, there are vi- there are very few comics you watch who you're like, man, that guy's really funny. Mm-hmm. He has super broad appeal, mm-hmm. and he's also being specific about stuff. So it's like. That combination of oh, those yeah. two things, I'm just like, you and, who? and he's a legit nice guy. Oh, nice guy. Like yeah. I know people because I get hit up all the time. Like, is he really as that nice way. as he seems? I'm like, yes. no. Like we actually have a plaque in our writers' room that says "Work hard, be nice." Be, oh, yeah, and yeah. one that. person got let go from the show because they were they being a bitch. Yeah, oh, sorry, yeah. And sorry. It's like, don't this who, isn't the at- this isn't the era of bitchiness, and this isn't the atmosphere I want no. on the show. We don't want someone poisoning the well. And you that's- can't work here, Greta Van Susteren. You're <laughs> you no longer a writer. Oh. Oh. Oh, Jay, Not mixing right. it up. About an inner city school. <laughs> yeah, how, why yeah, are you even why on this You have the worst opinions ever. <laughs> uh, so, okay, well, we believe that the world is getting dumber, and I know you've sort of listened to this, and, and I, I just think that, like, it is time to fight back with comedy. Where are you from? Uh, Toronto, Canada. I'm oh, kind okay. of from all over, but born yeah. in Dubai, but raised in Toronto, Canada. Okay. Wow. Wow. Right. Done Dubai, yeah. Toronto. Toronto's yeah. good. They don't all show up here very much in dumb people town. Yeah, they're yeah. pretty smart. <laughs> yeah. We're lit. Better. Yes, <laughs> you are a little bit better. You are a little we, bit better. We spent World some time changes. in Toronto. We shot a movie there. We spent like three or four weeks there, and I just was like, "Oh my god, I love this." The city. nicest people. Somebody right? said to me when I was there uh, this past summer, they were like, 
if you took New York and Chicago, combine them and made it great. <laughs> it's, it actually, that's actually a really good description. It's close. You know, my, my guy friend, um, cause in Toronto, one thing is like, we are sort of a, like, everybody kind of looks cleaned up a little bit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so when I used to live in New York, everybody be like, why are you always dressed up? I'm like, this isn't dress. This is me casual. Right. Mm-hmm. I was like, go to Toronto. Mm-hmm. So then my guy friend went to Toronto. He texts me. He goes, Oh my God, you were right. You were right. He goes, dress it up. He goes, even the ugly Ugly people are pretty in Toronto. That's right. Like, That's so true. I told they you. care about how they look. There's no dumb people out there. Well, mm-hmm. the world is getting dumber, and so we get stories sent yes. to us by we our do. awesome friends, fans, and friends. And guys, so but first, I just had to say I'm super excited to be here. I love your fucking show. Oh, thank, thank you, guys. you so much. I'm like Jeez. Super thank you. Honored. Oh, no. Oh, are you kidding so. me? We're, we're happy love. to have Feelings you. Mute. <laughs> All right. Let's All right. This. this was sent in by Brett Cummins at Motor City HDJ. Brett Cummins. We had a yeah. friend growing up named Brett Cunnin. Oh. But I oh. pronounced it Coonan. And, and I was like, that's a little racist, even no. though he's white. C U N I N. Jesus. Come on. Come on, man. Oh, not... Brett Cummins. Uh, he <laughs> was like, that's not bad. That's yeah. not too, too bad. No. <laughs> uh, his last name. Uh, he did what everybody should do. And the only way you can do it is hashtag Dumb People Town uh, at Daniel Van Kirk. That's how you send the story. We stories. never turn away bad stories. Dan right. is always uh, really excited I love to you fill all, up the but well. DMs don't work, playa. You got to just <laughs> hashtag it and add it. Slide into the main screen. Okay, here we go. Thanks, Brett. At Motor City HDJ. Nut nabbed for bizarre calls to police dispatch. I love when a headline is like not even trying to be professional. We're just <laughs> going to call this guy a nut. nut. A yeah, nut. a nut. Uh, this is from the smoke. So gun. he oh, called no. the police department w- right. weirdly, and right. they said, "We're going to pick this guy up. We're yes. going to nab this nut." There was no objectivism to this no. reporting. So yeah, like a nut. he's a nutbag. Uh, under that, the like little sub headline is: Wisconsinite sought quote some quality time together. Mm. Uh, which is very Wisconsin. Yeah. January 29th. A Wisconsin man who once called 911 for help in dealing with something completely different, we'll get around to that, uh, has been arrested for dialing police dispatchers and asking if, quote, they wanted to fool around or, quote, spend quality time together. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. Now, look. Offhand, I was like, "Fuck this guy. He's some sort of like uh, sexual creep, dude." Uh-huh. But it's it, it's not. He's just a nut. Wasn't Wisconsin? Like oh, sorry. No, no, please. I was saying, wasn't Wisconsin the the place where the cuddle? Like there was the a cuddle, cuddle party. There was a cuddle zone. That feels Portland to me. No, that was Wisconsin. Wisconsin. It was. Yeah, it was like Appleton, Wisconsin. What Wait, were you what's say? a cuddle party? Like, there was a place. That no, there's you also could cu- hire there's people cuddle parties to cuddle and with therapy. You. I think we did both. It was like a cuddle therapy. So it's non-sexual, but it's too. <laughs> <But> is it? <laughs> I mean, who knows? Right. But it's, it's really just, hard. When I think you're it's people right. seeking. It's like, you, yeah, like every ex that you text late at night, be like, let's just lay together. Have you guys seen the show Special? No. no, on Netflix no. Um, about uh, it's Ryan O'Connell. He has uh, he, he in real life has cerebral palsy, and mm-hmm. so he's just mm-hmm. sort of this like antihero. Mm-hmm. But in it now, I'm remembering. I'm like, oh yeah, he hired a guy to cuddle with him mm-hmm. to like learn how to just be with somebody. That's he's no, never that like that sounds. That's legit. a great yeah. storyline for it's, a show. That's fantastic. It's, cuddle buddy, cuddle yeah. buddy. Cuddle well, buddy. it's just someone you so, can so hire. So this guy just wants to spend time and maybe first, some quality time around. with the cop. But first, I also feel like together. there's that moment, and maybe this is the parent in me, where it's like, okay, we can't have nice things anymore. <laughs> no, <laughs> right. You can't. you can't have 911 because people are going to misuse 911. Well, cops say, I mean, sometimes the name makes the town. Cops say Benjamin Duddles. <laughs> Loves to cuddles. I know. Duddles, 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 Duddles. 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 That's awesome. Duddles, party of four. <laughs> Actually, I'm sorry. Let's make it more accurate. But B- party of one. Party of one. Yeah, yeah. So, Duddles, party of one. By the way, if you're one, they can never say party, <laughs> party of, of one. There's no party right. of one. Duddles. Just you? Duddles pity party of one. Yeah. Duddles pity party of one. It just sounds like a prank name. Like if it's like being name. the paramedic or whatever on the We're other line, you're there. like, hi, wh- who, who's speaking? How Brian much? Puddles? <laughs> Duddles, <laughs> Duddles. And then you're like, puts on hold. Duddles on one. Who wants it? <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm not taking it. No, it. I took it last time, Rick. <laughs> so you Duddles, Duddles is a great last name and it's easy to pronounce and whatnot. We always sclar three consonants in the row. Why and I'm assuming, do people do this? I'm assuming yours was mispronounced at restaurants and stuff when they call the name or well, something like that. It was usually at school. So my name is Natasha Ch- Chandel. Chandel. The Indian way is Natasha Chandel. Mm-hmm. But in school, for some weird reason, every single teacher would always call me Chantel. 
Chantel. once. And I'm like, wait a minute. Like, where are you? Where no did you tea. mistake? Yeah. And also, yeah. it's not like Natasha ever sounds like anybody's last name. No. So I don't understand right. why they would always flip it. Is I, Chantal sh- here? I don't yeah. see her. Chantel, <laughs> Natasha. People mind Sh- if Chantel. people remove it. They'll be like, Dan Kirk. I'm like, what did you think that you was my middle Van. fucking name? <laughs> Dan Van. Right. Kirk. Uh, so yeah, like Scalar. you guys get Scalar, Skyler, Skyler. Yeah, the other, put a the other the night, Scalar brothers. Damn, we were running our set for for Conan. Yeah, the other night we're we're dropping in at the Ice House. Mm-hmm. So nice, so nice of us to these guys. TK, uh, what's his last name? He's so he's so good, say Miller, sweet but... guy. He he has us on the show. His it, it's in the little room at the Ice House. It's packed. It's a great room. It's on fire. Can we drop in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The host is going to bring you on stage. Just make sure that he checks the second mic. Okay, great, great, great. He did. He introduced us from the second mic to everything right. Ladies and gentlemen, we got this is Don't. one of those great Don't. opportunities. We got a drop in. These guys are fantastic. They're going to be on Conan tomorrow night. You're going to get to see the set right here. Are you guys excited? Yes. All right, let's give it up for the Scholar Brothers. Oh. Scholar. Okay, now here's the fucking deal. Scholar. I mean, I, I get fucking, riled up no. about things that piss me off. That pisses me off. Here's my thing. 20 years, 25 fucking years you've been doing comedy, okay? Yeah, right? Okay, yeah. let's leave, let's shelve that, right? Uh, can we at least say I know you're going to be humble that you have achieved you have achieved the level of of you would be defined as a celebrity. You've done enough credits, yeah. people films, should know who. Yes, people should okay. know our name. Certainly right? in the comedy okay. community. So so now if you just have a passing fucking interest in Grey's Anatomy <laughs> or Entourage, <laughs> oh yeah, then you fucking know should the Squar so- brothers, okay? That's general public. Now let's go. You're in a goddamn comedy club. Comedy. And the person bringing you up, at least by role definition, seems to be safe to assume they want to do comedy. Yes. They are a comic. You're on the and road. you're telling me that in our current pop culture, in a comedy club, and you're a fucking comic, you don't know the Sklar brothers? So this is how much it's been ingrained I, in this our... Is what, it's just, yeah. Obviously, I'm pissed Dan, off it happens. It. It'd be like someone being like Jerry Seinfeld or something like yeah, that. Totally. You've never heard it before? Like, are you a fucking uh, moron? It but, was like when our aunt said, you know who I don't like? She, one, our Aunt Rita, who was just in town, she's like, you know who I don't like? We are like, I can't I wait, wait to, to hear who you don't like. She's 85 now. She can't know Ohio. She's like, you know who I don't like? We're like, like in who? comedy, we're like, who? She's like, that Jay Leno. I don't. We're oh. like, who's only read it? Because it, if you read it, it she looks like, like Leno. Reno. Janet Reno. Janet Leno. Reno. Reno. The, she did Jay my, Leno. My dad's nickname for Conan, because I was obsessed, like watching Conan every night as a kid, he was like, oh, you're watching that punk again. <laughs> he was like, oh, a punk. I a was punk, like, a I punk, was like he's so funny. He's like, yes, he's he is. But he's a punk. He's a punk. <laughs> uh, well, I just love that when we were kids, and, and this is how ingrained it is that like people are going to screw our name. Up. They're gonna Skyler, Scaler, or Scholar. Uh, that our dad, he wouldn't even tell us. We would go to restaurants where they announce your name and whatnot. Uh, he would just put our put the name in, and our dad's name was Richard Sklar. And uh they would just announce like what they'd say is Richard's party of four, and without even get we're like, Yeah, that's, that's us. Because right. yeah. we knew that like he, yeah. our he, dad's he, like, I'm not even gonna give you enough credit to get this is, right. I don't right. get it. I hope when people do that to you guys that you go up and be like, uh, that's okay, don't worry about learning our names. Hopefully you get past at the comedy shop uh, or the improv. Uh, I, I, I do have to the... say though, I'm on another end as like a brown as a brown person, yeah. I'm kind of like Huh, white people's names get fucked up oh, too. Oh yeah, we get fucked up. <laughs> That's kind of it it's is. really it, humanizing. It, it does. It, feels it very makes connected. us feel. It makes us feel connected. Well, yeah. Duddles. Last Duddles. week, called, yeah, the, called the non-emergency line at the Waukesha Police Department. Non-emergency line. So he's not tying up valuable line space. Right. This was a very like specific. Yeah, it's a very targeted right. call. He called them how many times oh, over a thirty-seven minute period and made some <laughs> odd requests. Okay, so we're Natasha. gonna play a quick little guess. How many times? How many times do you think he called in thirty-seven minutes with some odd requests? Thirty-seven minutes. Benji if Duds. You had to. B Duds. Yeah. Let's You're go. You go to B Dud Wings. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna calculate this. I'm okay. gonna do, do real Indian math here. Okay. Um, <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Uh, Two, two a minute, 64. 64. Four. I love it. Okay. Wait, that's not even the right math. That shows yes, you what's so okay. bad. It's 77. It would be 74. 74. You were wow, say 74? Is that Indian math? <laughs> that's, that's Indian long math would math. say 64. Like, 64? I'm, I'm you say 74 minus Seven. 10 because he took a couple yes, minutes. Yes, yes, yeah, okay. yeah. That was 64. totally planned. 64 for you. All right. I'm going to say he called 20 times in 37 minutes. Okay. I'm going to say he called 30 times. Okay. All right. right, half almost. There you go. Almost. Benjamin Duddles called four times in a third. Oh, okay. right. that's, still, that's, that's too many. That's still, still that's too many. It's, you know what? It's enough to get you to to answer. Right. Yeah. Because it's a. It's like okay. it's broken. I'm not like. 
Oh, do I remember this number? Yeah. Like it is, like, <laughs> and also, they're like, maybe this is an emergency. Right. The right. sad thing is, is, if you did call 64 times, they'd have to answer every single every time. time. I know, and they got an In one conversation with a female dispatcher, Duddle said, it'd be super duper cool if we could spend some quality time together. Nope. The operator replied, I don't know you, so I don't want to spend quality time with you. Which, by the way, is protocol. Right. That's what you should this say. This is also where I was like, oh, is he a creep? And then I was like... Because they pointed out it was female, it didn't matter to him. Yeah. While speaking with a male dispatcher during a second call, Duddles asked, well, do you want to, you know, fool around? No, I don't want to fool around <laughs> the operator shot back. So spend quality time with a lady, fool, fool around, around with, with a dude. Guy. I love this guy. Officers, I, go ahead. I just love that this is like his version of like a 1-900 call. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Yes. Right. This is his version. His <laughs> idea of uh, 970 sexy. Of a chat line. Yeah. Have you guys ever oh, called a that, chat yeah, line? No, have, I've no. never no. called. Have, have no. you? No, no, but but I, I, I do have to. a story. No, wait, yes. yeah, please tell your story first. We, I had a friend named Mike Randall. Mm -hmm. Here Mike comes Randall. Here comes Randall. He's a berserker. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> <laughs> do you remember that? Here comes Randall. No, He's man. a berserker. <laughs> I think it's from Clerks. <laughs> and so uh, Mike Randall and I, we had like somehow gotten a page. One of us had ripped out of like a dirty mag, like gallery or something mm -hmm. like that. And we would go to the uh, gas station. And on the corner of like Cary Avenue and Lincoln Highway, Jesus. 76 gas station. No, Clark. Clark I bet, gas you, station. I bet you could tell me what it smelled like. Clark gas station. Yeah. We, we, worked Clark. we worked at Clark That's gas Clark? station. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the one in Rochelle eventually got closed down because they were selling drugs and not paying taxes. Of course they were. Clark and oil. so they had a pay phone and we would go and we would call the 1-900 numbers from the pay phone and then get like as far as we could into the call before we would either get freaked out or they would want a credit card number and then we would like hang up. And we wow. did this for like an hour. We're like rode our Did bikes. you ever get anything out of them before no, you had to pay? Just no. an erection. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, God. But it's, so my thing is like I this sounds it's, I'm not trying to be creepy about it but growing up people yeah. always were like you like my phone voice sounds mm. like a porn voice I guess. <laughs> sure. So, you have a great voice. voice. It's, it's like, it is tends to be soft. So my voicemail is like, "Hi, friendly, cute." It's like, upbeat. "Hi, you've reached Natasha Chandel. That Please is, leave that her. is. Mm, and so then people sultry. would always be like, "Hey," but my thing is, I don't like I don't like loud noises. Mm -hmm. So I I tend to be very like calm sure. on the phone because yeah, yeah. I just I don't like hearing it back. Mm -hmm. And so I actually wanted to do a podcast. No joke. Talk to Jason about this, uh -huh. where I was like, I wanted to do like a porn meditation podcast oh where I'm just help, like, I just do a two minute positive affirmation of your in a porn voice. Oh. The dick is like, in your that's ear it. Right it's now. just like, the dick you know, is right in your ear. yeah, <laughs> just but, no, but it's just relax. like, you're going to have a really wonderful day today. You yeah. should do this. When you wake up in the morning, I want you to see the bright lights in this front is, of you. You have a great yes. voice. Yes. You could also do this. <laughs> you could also do two minutes up top and two minutes at the end for people to go to sleep. Yeah. Yeah. So Damn. you have, but yeah, you call you, it bookending. Yeah. <laughs> you start and end Which, your day. Which, by the way, could be that. like a sexual act. A sexual like act. guy in the no, front. You want to know what yeah. bookending is. Yeah. Uh, okay. Where was I? Don't get caught watching the binding dry. <laughs> so the the the, per, the uh, second operator, the guy was like, "No, I don't want to fool no, around." No, I don't. Shot back. Officers sent to Duddle's Milwaukee area residence discovered him, not surprisingly, in an intoxicated state. They also found a glass smoking pipe and THC in the apartment. According to court records, Duddles has been charged with a pair of misdemeanor drug counts and unlawful phone use. He was also hit with a bail jumping charge for violating the terms of his release. You called them to you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, in a pending criminal case in which he faces disorderly conduct charges and criminal trespass. Believe it or not, somebody said, get out of here and don't come back. And he yeah. didn't listen. He didn't listen. He trespassed. In November, oh God, oh boy. Duddles called the non-emergency line to, quote, tell dispatchers that he loves them. He also Aww. asked for the for the number for YouTube so he could watch Grateful Dead videos. You are I high as fuck. I love this guy. <laughs> can I call YouTube and see if they can if just yeah, see if talk. I can watch I want to tell them they're doing a good job. I just want to touch your gray. <laughs> I just want to <laughs> I just want to say that yeah, this I just is awesome. touch your gray. Guys, me, me this, and my uncle. I um, want to watch Grateful Dead <laughs> videos. It's like when you can't control when your... When it gets really loud all of a sudden. Yeah. Uh, you lose it's about... Yeah, it is. See, Natasha wouldn't like that. She doesn't like it when it gets really loud. A cop sent to Duddle's <laughs> home warned him not to contact the police department unless he had a legitimate need for assistance 
At that point, Duddles reportedly admitted that he loved talking to dispatchers and officers. But it's the non-emergency line. But maybe that's his fetish. Like for him, when he calls someone who's like in a person of authority, person of authority who's doing their job, how long he can get them to stay on the line is a thrill for him. Yeah. Or how long he can distract people from doing other really important work. (laughs) Or admit his love for these people. (laughs) And how long can he then keep it going after that? There's probably like a, this is naughty. I shouldn't be doing this. This right. type of a feel to it. Uh, as reported in these pages, Duddles, Duddles called 911 in November 2013, and we will find out what that was right after we take a quick break. Stick around, make a sound for more dumb people town. Hey, hey, townies. I'm having so much fun in town. Whose gorgeous voice are you listening to? I'm Natasha Chandel from the Kinda Dating Podcast, where celebrity and expert guests and I break down one dating topic per episode and answer the question that has plagued humankind since the beginning of time. Why the fuck do we all have commitment issues? Join me, a dating influencer, TV writer, and reformed commitment phobe, as we deep dive on important topics like mistakes single people make, to sex addiction, to how to slide in her DM. That could very well help you get it in. I mean, find the love of your life. Some of our guests include comedy superstar Russell Peters, influencers like Laura Clary and Megan Rinks, and experts like Marissa Cohen and Time Person of the Year, Dr. Wendy Walsh. Whether you're single, in a relationship, coming out of one, or just plain want to laugh at modern dating shenanigans, there are over 130 episodes and there's something for everyone. So take a second and subscribe to Kinda Dating on your favorite podcast app and leave us a five-star review. That's Kind of dating, because, I mean, who says they're in a relationship anymore? Working remotely can be a challenge, especially for teams that are new to it. How do you deal with your work environment being the same as home while staying connected and productive? And then there's your newest coworker, the cat. Well, your friends at Trello have been powering remote teams globally for almost a decade. At a time when teams must come together more than ever to solve big challenges, Trello's here to help. Trello, part of Atlassian's collaborative suite, is an app with an easy-to-understand visual format, plus tons of features that make working with your team functional and just plain fun. Trello keeps everyone organized and on the same page, helping teams communicate, focus, and connect. Teams of all shapes and sizes at companies like Google, Fender, Costco, and likely your favorite neighborhood coffee shop all use Trello to collaborate and get work done. Try Trello for free and learn more at Trello.com. That's T-R-E-L-L-O dot com. Trello dot com. It's a trying time that challenges all of our basic assumptions. However, one thing that brings us all together is our common humanity. Now, more than ever, teams must come together and work together to solve big challenges. And Trello is here to help. Trello, part of Atlassian's collaborative suite, is an app with an easy-to-understand visual format. Plus, tons of features that make working with your team functional and just plain fun. Teams of all shapes and sizes and companies like Google, Fender, and even Costco all use Trello to collaborate and get work done. With Trello, you can work with your team wherever you are, whether it's at home or in an office. No matter what device you're using, computer, tablet, or phone, Trello syncs across all of them, so you can stay up to date on all the things your team cares about. Keep your workflow going from wherever you are with Trello. Try Trello for free and learn more at Trello.com. That's T-R-E-L-L-O dot com. Trello dot com. Hey, guys. Uh, welcome back to the show. First uh, of all, you have a podcast, Oh, Natasha. yeah, I do. I Please do. tell our fans who what it is it's so they called, can subscribe. It's uh, called Kind of Dating. It's a comedy dating podcast oh, nice. um, where cool guests and I break down one dating topic per episode. And the joke is we try to figure out why the fuck we all have commitment issues because nobody says they're in a relationship <laughs> anymore. Everybody's like, I'm kind of dating this guy. I'm kind of dating this girl. Uh, right. So, um, you know, no we kind of range. All, no one will jump all the way in. No, not anymore. Why is that? Just because people want to keep their people options open? Yeah. That's it. People are pussies. I mean, that's, that's a fact. Really, what the? Uh, when does it? Core. When does it drop? It's uh, every Tuesday. Okay. Um, we've had a hundred and thirty-four episodes. Okay, in get the range. in now. Then yeah. back catalog yeah. that thing. It's like how to slide in her DMs yeah. to like sex mm. addiction. Mm. Yeah, like, cover we it all. Go so okay, all over. so that I want to say that I think plays a part. You know, people's oh, yeah. fantasy about what sex is, totally. or they're it, it, they're so the access to it is with the internet or whatnot is just so prevalent right now that they're like, I don't need 
yes. to be in a relationship. I don't need to try and make something work. So, And this sort of comes back to like your guys' question of like, are people really dumb? Mm -hmm. And I definitely believe that, I think that people are probably the same amount of dumb as before, mm -hmm. but I think it's more infuriating now. Yes. yes. Because you have the most fucking powerful tool in mm -hmm. the world at your fingertips. Computer in your hand. You have a computer yeah. you can take everywhere with you. And there's which no we couldn't in 85. Good ass fucking reason to no. be as dumb as people are, as uneducated sure. or yeah, whatever. Yeah. And so the same thing kind of works with like porn. It's like you watch something and how people have like forgotten the ability to Use critical judgment. Use critical oh, thinking. Critical thought is what's so much lacking. Yeah, yeah. and you're like, talk to this people. This isn't completely real. Right. This or is an at angle. All. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I had a family member of mine like point out. I, I'm not. Even, it's not important what side of the fence it was on, but like a political thing about somebody that they were like didn't like, and I I said uh, that's just n not even close to true, and so. I explained to them why that that was not true, and then I just said in the nice way, I was like, also like just to remember. You are two clicks away from just typing that into Google and just seeing. It, it, it might keep you in a place like, wow, I don't know the answer. Or you will probably know the answer nine times out of ten right away. Yep. Yeah. And I, so I did it. And yep. then I just sent them the link and I sent them the screenshot and was like, see, that Fake was really news. easy. What, what? And they were like, okay. I'm like, just that, just – just don't accept it. No, like, it's so true. Like, I, w I went to a, uh, my girlfriend's house and her family is conservative. Hey, conservatives out there, y you know, be you. I'm not trying mm -hmm. to judge you. Yeah, that said, right. um, they were conservative and very anti-Obama. Sure. And, uh, you know, I try to be really, like, peaceful with peeps. And uh, But they started saying a bunch of stuff. Yeah. And one was, like, this really wild, like, accusation which uh -huh. is fine I, but i just very calmly was like i don't think that's true yeah. and they were like no i don't know about that yeah. and she ends up googling it as she's like no it is and right. she starts googling it and uh, like 10 minutes later she's like oh it's not, not that, and that's I can't all find it took it. i can't find it and there was no was need like, for an oh, argument there's no need for a fight there's no need for hostility and i bet you Google. told her in the calmest natasha voice I did, it was I did. like so yeah. it's, that's, okay, which it's by okay. the way that has got to be infuriating to argue with you on that level <laughs> like I never want to be in an argument with you. Can we never be in an argument? You don't want to see argue? the other side either. Oh, really? Does yeah. it just I'm all like, come out in like a I'm crazy I'm like the calmest banshee. person until I'm not. Until yeah. someone then, pisses you off, forget it. So, so I, then I'm like, let's I think I think you're right about this, and, I th and then we'll get back to the story, but I think there is a thing right now where we are – we're getting to a place where people don't want to do hard things at all anymore, or difficult things that take a little bit of work. Like, so it's like you, you have to leave your dog at home. You cannot bring your dog into this restaurant. It's easier if he just comes with me. And so now there's a dog in a restaurant, like where years ago, we do a bit about this in our standup. Right. If you walked a dog too close to a restaurant, the owner could be like, I'm going to shoot that dog. And you'd be like, I, I get it. You have an A rating. You don't want this dog crapping around your door. So like now you can carry like a, a chihuahua and a baby Bjorn through a salad bar. And everyone's like, mm, yeah. so do it. Yeah. It's his emotional support, and it's like, look, I how's get he gonna get to the garbanzo beans without having a nervous <laughs> breakdown? I, I don't know. And so, like, it's hard. People used to like have to like dress a little bit nice, you know, when you went to work, and now people are like, I want to wear sweatpants to work. I, I'm wearing sweatpants to work right now, but I'm just saying, like, that's across the board. Well, a relationship is work. It's hard work sometimes, and it sucks, and you got to deal with somebody, and you got to deal with their crap, and you got to really get into it. Or but you can jerk off. Actually, what, just, what I always say, tell I'm people, I'm like dating actually is not hard. The actual process of dating is not being half a human with somebody for an hour of mm -hmm. your life is not hard. No, being in a relationship. What's hard generally about relationships, dating, whatever, is just managing your feelings. Mm. That's all it is. So yeah. it's like the process of communicating not that difficult. It's that I sat at, sat at a date and now I go, oh my God, I laughed in a way. I'm like, oh my God, I have the, the worst laugh. Why did I laugh at yeah. that time? And then that small thought always goes to, I'm going to die alone. <laughs> like every thought goes Slippery to, I'm going to die slope alone. down to that point. And yeah. so you're like, even when you get in a, you're in a relationship, yeah. something goes wrong. It always goes to that. So yes. you're like, right. it's like. I'm unlovable or yeah, I can't get there. Or, or the other thing is like sometimes if you care about someone, like wait till you have kids. Like there's times where you're like, I don't know how to fit their life into my life, which I need to do these things. And these things are really important to me. How do I sublimate what I need for another person? That takes a lot of work and that's super hard. People and don't want to do it. People don't want to do it. 
Because they're like, I don't have to do it. All right, so what's the name of the podcast so people can oh, check Oh, Kind of Dating. Kind of Dating. Kind of Dating. Look, like, we, It sparked us to do have like a 10-minute discussion, and that was like <laughs> a hot second. That's why this podcast is great. Check it out. Dan, let's get to the second okay, half of go. the story. Uh, as reported uh, earlier by TheSmokingGun.com, Duddles called 911 in November 2013 to report that he wanted, quote, a female removed from his bed. What? The woman, he added, was now snoring like a train and he wants her out. He there. called 911 for a person sleeping next to him. Let snoring. me say, I've been there. Fair. See That's how totally I told fair. you at the top? At first, I felt like he was a creep. Maybe he is, but he's definitely just a nut. He yeah. got, a, he got hey. a lady in bed with him. Wait, I what mean. do you mean you've been, you were? That was a joke. But were yeah, you no, ever there? My wife, no, my wife snores. <laughs> and I'm just okay. like, I can't. There are moments where I just like lose my brain yeah. because then you get in your own head and you're yeah. like, well, I'm not Once going to sleep. Once you're in your own head, I'm not going to sleep. Okay, but yeah. what would you guys do as dudes if there was a girl? And she just wouldn't leave. Oh, she just wouldn't leave. Like, like what if that was leave? the situation? That's a great That's question. That's a hard one because you, you can't get physical. Been, yeah. you, can call, you can call 911 yeah. for someone. You absolutely can't get around. physical and you absolutely can't, you know, you can't start throwing her stuff out the door or right. down the street. Yeah. Or what I would do is I would record me saying, uh, I'm asking you nicely to leave. Please turn it on Turn her. on that. And if she says nothing, say, okay. And then you're. Keep that video. Or Upload it to Twitter. You say, let's go to lunch. But by the way. And then you leave the restaurant in an emergency that just happened. I'm sorry. Here's There's 20 bucks for. Yeah, but like, cab. I'm so afraid of people and the way they behave now. I'm like, she's come back with a gun. She's oh. come back with something. Yeah, like you can't break yeah. up with anyone. You can't like, I feel like that's part of it too. Like people are like. Kind of dating oh, yeah. because I don't want to <laughs> then get yeah. to the point where I have to break it off. And then this person going to show up at work. People hunts ghost me people down. all the time because yeah. of that. And yeah. I'm like, you should, if they seem crazy, ghost yeah. them. Ghost. Ghost them. So ghost. this woman is, this woman is probably trying to snore him out yeah. of this relationship. It's his house. Does. All right, fine. Seen above, uh, told cops the pair had drank together, had relations, and she fell asleep. When we drank was- together. <laughs> Could not like had relations. Yeah, had relations. Uh, when Duddles could not roust <laughs> the sneezing woman, snores, sorry, sno- sneezing, roasting, snoozing woman, roasting the snoozing woman who, who suffered from sleep apnea. I don't yeah. know why they threw that in there. <laughs> she didn't have her mask. She yeah. dies every twenty seconds for a second. It's <laughs> horrible. Sleep, sleep apnea, apnea is bad. Uh, he called them on one. Police did not arrest Duddles. Ex- She's like, hey, babe, I forgot my CPAP machine. <laughs> they explained <laughs> to him crash here? that a snoring woman in his bed was not a law enforcement matter. We will get out of here on this. How old? How old do you think Benjamin Duddles is? How old do you think he is? Oh, you get to guess this. By, by the way, the, the curious case of, of Benjamin, Benjamin Duddles. Duddles. I think he's aged. <laughs> He's aging backwards. He will be a he will be an eighty year old baby in two he years. Will. So Dan, this is a trick question because mm-hmm. he's aging backwards. Where's he at now? Gosh, you can go first. You can go first, take or third, wherever you want. I don't know. Whatever. Thirty six. Thirty six. Okay, okay. Jay, right, what do you Jay? think? That's a good age. You might be. I, I know you just tossed that off. You might be oh, exactly right. What do we know about him? You know who didn't toss him off? Uh, old Snorri McGee over there. He's got priors. <laughs> he doesn't Snorri like snoring fin- women. Old Snorri Finkelstein over there. He wants to spend time together. <laughs> he loves, you. He, he doesn't know how YouTube works. He loves <laughs> Grateful Dead. I think he's 44. Okay. 44. I, think, I think he's 58. 58 58! We'll Benjamin get out of here Duddles. on this, Benjamin Duddles. <laughs> Benjamin Duddles. Be Duddles if you're nasty. Be Duds. Benjamin Duddle Wings is... 47 years oh, old. Oh! Wow! That's a year it? younger than us. Oh, my goodness. Um, oh, man, I was three years off. That felt really, really good and satisfying. <laughs> I felt like that I was so fun, and I'm so happy we uh, learned more about your podcast, Kinda Dating, yeah, this was Natasha. So fun. Thank you, you so much. You guys are awesome. This is Thank so fun. Enormous. It just moves. It's a blast, and uh, we get to make fun of uh, dumb people and Duddles yeah. people. Uh, mm-hmm. Thank you guys so much, and oh, shit, we got to get back to work. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Make a sound, hunker down, it's dumb people town. Scarpins Avenue, a podcast network.